The test days leading up to the 2022 Formula 1 season start in Barcelona on Wednesday, February the 23rd. However, the setup has changed to previous years, so GP Fans is here to let you know everything that you need to know about Formula 1 testing in 2022. Now, before we go any further, hit the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all the content we produce at the channel. But now, here's everything you need to know about testing this year. The winter tests are very popular with many fans. Not only do we get to see the new cars on track for the first time, but there is finally some action on the asphalt after a starved winter with plenty of talk and very little else. And let me tell you, there's been a lot of talk this winter. This year, the test days are extra special as well due to the aerodynamic regulations overhaul, which has resulted in a complete overhaul of the cars. At the car launches, most teams revealed almost nothing, which makes it interesting to see the new vehicles on the asphalt for the first time. The test days are again spread out over two different weeks this year, but will be held at two different locations as well. From Wednesday the 23rd of February to the 25th, testing will take place at the Circuit de Catalunya near Barcelona in Spain. The second session will take place at the Bahrain International Circuit in Bahrain from Thursday March the 10th to Saturday March the 12th. However, the week in Barcelona will be behind closed doors. This means it won't be broadcast on television, we've got more on that in just a moment. Barcelona has been the regular destination for winter tests for the last few years. The circuit there is considered an ideal track because of the high variety of slow, medium and fast corners. It also is easily accessible for the teams because of its central location in Europe and the weather conditions are often pretty good and a good representation of where Formula 1 will be driving for the large part of the season. As well as having similar features to the track in Spain, Bahrain has the advantage that the opening race of the new season will be held there just a week later. That saves another complicated journey during this global pandemic. All in all, it has made Formula 1 decide to divide the test days over these two tracks. As already mentioned, the test days in Barcelona this year will take place behind closed doors. It's a disappointment for the fans because the whole event can't be followed live on television. The public is also not welcome at the track. Formula One has indicated that it will share a number of updates at the end of each day and the teams will probably also post a short fragment of their cars driving on social media here and there. But closely following the tests in Barcelona is unfortunately not something that can happen this year for the general public. However, GP fans will be on site at the track and will report live through the live blog on the website. The test days in Barcelona are seen by Formula One this year as kind of a glorified shakedown. A statement on the official website reads, The first part will be a minor pre-test session in Barcelona on February 23rd to the 25th, where the teams will be able to try out the new 2022 cars for the first time. As usual with team pre-testing style events, the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya driving will not include live coverage or live timing. There is no official reason why the first part of the test is considered a shakedown. It was recently rumoured that Bahrain may have deposited a considerable amount of money for the scoop to be able to exhibit the new cars. Another reason could simply be that the teams don't want to make a mistake on live television. Due to the new regulations, every part on the cars is new. The whole philosophy had to be overhauled. If it turns out that one of the teams, by way of does not make it to the end of the pit lane due to a design error or parts that are not working, it is of course nice that something like this is kept behind the curtain and hidden away from the media. However, the Bahrain test will be broadcast live on television in the same way that previous testing sessions have been done in the past. During the test days, not too much value should be placed on the lap times. In Barcelona in particular, the teams will not be fussed about fastest laps. Their focus is on understanding the car. Does everything work the way they designed it? No times will be taken in Bahrain either. This is because, firstly, the teams want to keep their cards close to their chests in terms of their speed on track, only allowing the competition to know once qualifying for race day one comes around. Secondly, due to the new regulations, the teams will continuously try and implement upgrades throughout the test days. In addition, the test programs of the teams are not public. For example, nobody knows how much petrol will be in the cars, what position the engine is in and what the objective of the run is. 
The lap times won't say much and certainly aren't a good basis for drawing any conclusions. In addition, at the close of each day, some teams might try to do a so-called glory run, which is setting the fastest time of the day with an empty tank of petrol and new tyres in order to make some headlines for themselves. So don't be alarmed if your favourite team is not immediately in their desired place on the timing list. Now you can stay up to date with everything from Spain and Bahrain on gpfans.com and at gpfansglobal on Twitter and Instagram when testing kicks off next week. And of course hit the subscribe button down below to stay with us throughout the 2022 season.